I'm meteorologist Leah Pizzetti in the Cascade Mountains, about 50 miles east of Seattle. We're in the heart of an El Nino winter, and we can certainly see those impacts. But experts tell me there's a big picture issue at play here. In the last 75 years, our snowpack has decreased as much as 50 to 60 percent. Tomorrow, I'm talking to the people who live, work, and play here and are feeling those impacts. But it's not just western Washington. Meteorologist Jeremy Legou is in Spokane with how that region is feeling the impacts of two mountain ranges. Here in the inland northwest, we sit in the rain shadow of the Cascades, but we still boast pretty incredible snow totals up in the mountains. However, warming temperatures are eating away that snowpack. We're seeing less and less, especially in lower elevations. And as winters warm, the duration of that snowpack isn't lasting quite as long. In Washington, Oregon, and Idaho, that snowpack plays a vital role in summertime irrigation, and the early snowmelt is having detrimental impacts on farmers. Sophia Bliss is in Boise to explain. In southern Idaho, snowpack and reservoir levels are essential for a successful irrigation season and for farming. For our current systems that capture water, like dams and reservoirs, they work best when we stay within historical norms. That way we get a slow, gradual melt in the spring. And several of those norms are shifting, including the snowpack. In drier years, water managers have ended the irrigation season early, creating pressure for farmers. We'll hear from a local farmer who's worked in this area for about 25 years. He'll share the trends he's been seeing and the impacts he's felt. This isn't the only industry feeling the heat. Kale Williams is in Oregon with how the changing snowpack is changing the salmon population. We're here in the central Oregon Cascades, right around 4,000 feet. In a scene like this, where it's snowing at this elevation, it's gonna become increasingly rare in the coming decades. That's because of a larger warming trend caused by climate change, which is pushing snow levels up. And that's impacting salmon and the people who rely on them for their livelihood. We'll talk to some of those folks and the people working on solutions. 